up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Mingle with your girl the one and only who me miss brown so we gonna jump right into it today because time is ticking time is ticking it's time to go back to school i know y'all ready for these kids to get up out of y'all house so i'm gonna drop some things that you will need in order to enroll your child in school I don't know about you, but I am in the great state of what? Say it, I know you know, you already know where everything is bigger and better in Texas. And with me being in Texas, everybody and their mama, their granddaddy, they dog groomer, they waxer, everybody and their mama have moved to Texas. So if you have just recently moved to Texas and you are ready to get your kids enrolled in school, Stay tuned, I'm gonna give you some tips as well as a to-do list of all the items that you will need to successfully, you heard me, successfully, because it ain't gonna be a success with everybody now, but with me, I got you. So in order for you to enroll your child successfully, stay tuned for the video. The first thing that you will need to do when it comes to enrolling your child in a new state is get familiar with your area. Find out what school district is going to be servicing your community. Once you figure out what school district service you and where you live, go online to that local school district. Just type it in in Google. It could be Galena Park, it could be Pasadena, it could be Houston ISD, Katy, Cypress, Lamar, Richmond. I'm just throwing out a few school districts that are here so in the Houston and surrounding um, area. So once you figure out what school district is for you, you're gonna go online to that school district's website. You're gonna look for where to register your child. Once you find out what school you should be registering your child at, which a lot of times, most school districts have a map on their district uh, website. So you will have to search on the district websites in certain tabs looking for what school your child will go to. It may say something like, find my school, find my bus, what school should my child be attending, find my campus, something like that. So be on the lookout for those tabs. Once you find the registration, it's gonna ask you to create a family account. I live in a bigger city. Majority of our registration has now moved to online. There are no more paper forms of registration. Maybe if you live in a small country bumpkin town, they might still use paper, but here in H-Town, we no longer use paper. We are the fourth largest city in the US. Come on now, y'all. Yes. Finish those enrollment forms online. Once you fill out the registration, it is gonna ask you for certain documents. Your child's birth certificate. You might as well go in your storage now. Look for it because you're gonna need it. If you don't have the birth certificate and you need to wait for the other school to send it, don't be surprised if that delays your child from being enrolled to school on time. Never depend on another school to send your child's records. If you have those records as well, keep them, be responsible, and make sure you have what your child needs in order to enroll them in school. The next thing that you are going to need, and honestly, without this, your child is not going anywhere. So, listen up. Your child's immunization records. The immunization records is just a record of all the shots that they have accumulated since they have been born. So make sure you have it. Again, do not depend on the, the previous school if you are coming from a different state. Do not depend on the previous school to send that information. They have other students to attend to as well. And again, it will delay your child from starting school. So if you can get that shot record from your child's doctor, have them send it to you or go ahead and get it. Go, 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 go in your storage and get your child's stuff so we can make sure this is a smooth transition, right? We want to get them about the house. Also, if you are moving to Texas, this is the number one thing I hear from parents. Oh, I don't have the shot record, but I know my child has all of their shots. I know that they're complete. They was complete at their last school, and I was real cool with the nurse. So I already know they got all their shots. I regret to inform you, sweetheart, that here in Texas, like I said, everything is bigger and better. With that being said, 
Texas requires more shots for your child to be able to start school. Yep. So Texas normally requires an extra DTAP or an MMR or a varicella shot. I don't know, I'm not the nurse. I'm just the campus registrar and I'm letting you know the documents that you're actually gonna need in order to get them transferred and registered. So don't be surprised if your child is not up to date with their records. If you are coming from out of state, be prepared for your child to need about two to three extra shots. Especially if you come from New York or Florida, they always need extra shots. The third thing that you are going to need if your child has been to school before in another state is your child's official transcript. Please, 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 or their withdrawal forms. Please, parents, if you can, please keep that. Because guess who gonna need it? Me, I, the registrar, queen lady registrar. I'm gonna need your child's official transcript just to see where they were at their last school. We, we comfortable right here, we, I'm sorry. But anyways, I'm gonna need your child's transcript to see what classes they were in, what their last grades were, any other information that I, the principals, or the teachers can use in order to determine where you are as far as your assessments and your academics. Without this transfer, it can delay your child's start date. How am I supposed to know or believe you that your child is actually going to the fourth grade? If you came from Chicago and you move into Texas and you don't have no type of grades or report card, you think I'm just gonna take your word that, yeah, my child and, yeah, they pass. Of course, you pass, right? Duh. Mm-mm. I'm not taking your word for it. I've had parents play with me before. Mm-hmm. So I need my proof. Either you're gonna have the, give me the transcript, a last report card that says that your child has moved on to the next grade, or I'm gonna have to reach out to the school and try to get that information from them. But again, like I said, what did I say? It's going to delay you. So try to, try to give me or the registrar as much information as possible. The next thing you're gonna need is the report card but I just said the transcript, so it kind of goes hand in hand. If you don't have the transcript, the report card will tell me if your child actually passed to the next grade, so that will help. Also, parents, when you are filling out the application, if it asks you if your child is special education, please don't have pride and lie. Don't do that. Don't try to feel like, oh, we in a new state, he don't need that no more. You don't know what your child need because <laughs> Again, the teacher is with your child more than you are. You only sit down at dinner with them and maybe on the weekend. So trust me, the teacher, the professional, knows what your child needs. So if they if they had an art at the at the last campus, they gonna need to do the same thing. If they had an IEP over here in Mississippi, they gonna need an IEP over here in Texas. Period. If you have any special education records, please, please, please bring those as well. I will give the last school time to get me those documents, but again, if you want your child receiving all of their services, come correct with their proper documentation. You should never take your child anywhere without their accommodations. So make sure you have those handy and dandy. And so once we have that birth certificate, the shot record, uh, report card, any special education records, I will also then need to prove that you belong to my campus. I'm gonna need your proof of residency. That's gonna be your lease, your mortgage bill, your deed to your home, or your lease agreement. Not all of that, pick one. As well as one utility bill, light, water, or gas. Just be prepared for someone to ask you for proof of residency. We're not taking cable bills. Only utility, light water gas, no internet, light water gas, okay? I don't want your credit card, I don't want your phone bill, we doing light water gas. Cause I need to make sure that you belong to my campus. Once I have all of those documents and you did your part, guess what, baby girl, big daddy, grandma, auntie, nana, 
Thea, Abuela, whoever you are to that child, guess what? Once you have given me or that campus registrar all of that information, clap it up. You are almost done. So after you've done that, give us time to process everything. Let us get to know your child through the paperwork. Don't rush me. So be mindful, take your time, turn in those documents, and we are gonna get your child squared away, ready to roll at their new school in a new state. I wish all of you parents the best of luck. Breathe, especially to my first time parents whose babies that are going into pre-K and kinder. Just know pre-K and kinder are my favorite. <laughs> so to all of the parents out there who has a child entering into pre-K or kinder, take your tissue with you, you may cry. I hope your experience is great. I always like to provide my parents with one of the best experiences in my office. So. I can't guarantee you'll get the same, but if you feel like that registrar is trying to play you, meet me in the comments and we gonna see what's up. See you next time.